Welcome to AFD-TV. I'm Dr. Steve Samadrala, and I'm here with well-known neurosurgeon, Dr. Sana Dixit, and uh, also our guest star, Bree. So today we're gonna talk about Bree's story. So take it away, Dr. Dixit. Bree, we had a chance to talk about this earlier briefly, but why don't you tell me a little bit, tell me again what you were sharing okay. with me before. Well, years ago, I experienced a fainting spell, mm -hmm. and in investigating the cause of the fainting spell, I had an MRI, MRA, and the MRA showed that I had a small lump on my brain. Mm -hmm. And so the surgeons uh, figured it may be an, an aneurysm. Mm -hmm. So um, in investigating further, they recommended an angiogram. Right. On the day of my angiogram, I had a panic attack. And um, the surgeon at that point recommended, because of the size of the lump that they saw on the MRA, that it was so small that they would just recommend not doing the angiogram that day, but having another MRA in six months and continuing to monitor it with MRAs uh, to make sure it didn't grow. And if it grow, grew, then they would do an angiogram and, and go from there. But this has been years ago, so I was just wondering if I should continue to have the MRAs or what your recommendations well, are. Before we answer that question, if you if you don't mind for the audience, let, let everyone know what an MRA is. Sure. So an MRA is a non-invasive way of studying the blood vessels using an MRI magnet. It's specifically designed to look at the arteries and the veins. And how many MRAs have you had? Maybe four. Four, okay. okay. Now you're, you're pretty young to, to have the diagnosis of an aneurysm. You're pretty young to have had that many MRAs. I understand why you were anxious about the diagnosis. I also understand why you were anxious about the finding of an aneurysm. And just for the viewers who aren't aware, an aneurysm is a weak spot on the artery. If it bleeds, it can be a life-threatening problem, can cause some pretty significant issues. And we have a, a, a model of a brain over here showing basically what some of the arteries look like. Very, very tiny structures. It's not always very easy to see on uh, a scan like an MRA. So I understand why they made the recommendations that they, they made for you. For where you are right now, Bree, I think the best thing is to get some updated information. Another MRA would probably be where I would start. If there was some abnormality on there that was questionable, I wouldn't hesitate to get an angiogram on you, if for no other reason than to prove that there's not anything there, so you can at least put that issue to rest. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Dixit. Sure. That's helpful. And as far as to alleviate anxiety in case you were to get an angiogram, so what are the biggest risks for angiograms? The biggest risks with an angiogram are bleeding down by where the puncture is made. It's like a hard catheterization, so there's a small risk of bleeding, bruising, infection, blood vessel injury. The biggest thing we worry about is the risk of a stroke. An experienced practitioner's hand, that risk is, is pretty darn close to zero. Um, you usually run through the risks over, um, over a few minutes with most patients, but the vast majority of times it ends up not being that much of an issue. Sure, sure. And, and that's where there's a lot of fancy words that we talked about today. And uh, the partnership between a primary care physician or patient and nurse surgeon, really, it goes a long way. And also involving as many family members as possible, because quite often, you may hear something, you know, that you don't remember. So, so and then, you know, of course, Google, you know, Google, I mean, you don't want to get too afraid on what you read on Google, but at the same point in time, uh, I do recommend for patients to do their research ahead of time so when they go, they can ask questions. And I love educated patients. I love answering questions. And of course, I'm sure for you too. Absolutely. Yes. So, well, thank you for watching AFD TV. More coming soon with Dr. Dixit. The preceding advice provided in this video is informational and strictly the opinions of Dr. Sammy Drala and AFD Clinics. For a more accurate medical opinion of your personal health, please consult your primary care physician or visit one of AFD's clinics today.